So it's also a really big day for Democrats. The Democratic convention kicks off tonight, but it's not going to look like years Ladies past. This year's slim down convention will be a mix of both live and pre-recorded speeches with hundreds of live feeds and four stage setups in Los Angeles, New York, Milwaukee and Wilmington. So tonight's speakers include Michelle Obama, and Bernie Sanders. All major networks are airing the convention starting at 10 p.m. Eastern time, so tune in. It can also be streamed online beginning at 9 Eastern. So meantime, a new CNN poll shows the race for the White House narrowing. Biden and Harris get 50% support, while Trump and, and Pence get 46%. Of course, two other recent polls show Biden up by 12 or nine points. Uh, Jeff, one, what do you make of the polls? And two, what do you hope to hear from the candidates tonight? Great questions. One, I don't think anything of the polls. Neither do I, I. I think they're nonsense. It's like a survey taken of 100 people who eat dirt. What? I don't <laughs> even know what you're talking about. So that's the same thing as these polls. No one knows that we all had the example in 2016 when Hillary was supposed to win by a landslide and didn't. So I don't really take much, you know, whatever. Done, done with the polls. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the second question was what I hope to see tonight was, listen, I, I'm so overwhelmed and tired of politics. I don't believe what anybody says on either side anymore. I'm sorry I, I'm that bitter. I have to readjust myself. I want to hear some positivity. I want to hear people bringing this country together. I don't want to hear low blows. I don't want to hear why the other side stinks. I want to hear why you're good and why you, we're going to bring us together and unite us as a nation. That's really what I want to hear. I want to hear some positivity. I don't want to hear cheap shots. I don't want to hear mudslinging. I hope it's all positive. Got it. It. Erica, Jeff wants unification. Uh, what do you hope to see from the candidates tonight? I think we all want unification. I do like the idea that it is a more condensed version. Obviously, it's a sign of the times that we are in right now. Um, but I do think that it's important that people understand, especially like for the Democratic National Convention and even the Republican National Convention, we need digestible information. And the idea that it's being condensed so that it's more digestible to the average voter is really important. It's either you want us to be informed to make the best decision or you want us to be confused in order to not make the best decision. That's how I'm feeling about it right now. And I think that it also shows you where we are in a society where people are unemployed, they're losing their homes, um, there is obviously a pandemic going on, we just want to cut to the chase and see who's going to get us to a better place. So I think that this is a great way of doing it, and I hope that people pay attention. I agree, Eric, and I really just want to see plans, plan in action. I want to see the unification. I don't want to hear low blows. I'm with you there. I'm sick and tired of it. Yeah. But I need to hear crystal clear plans. Number one, uh, with the pandemic in mind, what's going to happen to our children? Uh, schools, reopening the economy. Uh, if there is a vaccine, what are their plans with that? Masks, mandated, not mandated. I want to hear exactly what their policies are.